Hello everybody, oh, it's me, Tempted. Hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the Walking Dead Telltale Definitive Series. Woohoo, we're on episode 2, Start for Help. Now, if you guys didn't know already, in episode 1, uh, on season 1 of course, we're on season 1, episode 2, but season 1, episode 1, uh, we ended it off with um, Lee and the group Lily, Kenny, Duck, Clem, uh, Catchit, or whatever her name was, Larry, uh, Carly, and probably a few others along the road here. We've all uh, found refuge in the motel, and we've made it a base and such as. I'm going to assume that's what's going to be happening. So we are on episode two, Start for Help, and it seems to me, judging by this picture, that something tragic has happened uh, to Lily and Kenny and Lee are kind of fighting and they're going like what the hell yada 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 blah 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 but let's go play it let's play it let's see what's going to happen Previously on the Walking Dead. I know who you are I got a good one for you You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. <laughs> and then that was the ending right there. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Which we already knew. Ah. Uh, Telltale Games presents. Ah. Uh, welcome back, everybody. In association with Skybound Entertainment. Oh. Oh. Three months later. Dang, got the fire axe still. Still got the fire axe from the motel. I don't know who this is. Who the, who the hell is this? Get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. Dang. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. Yeah. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Yeah. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me. I have no regrets. Yeah, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. Oh, his name is Mark. Ah, okay. No kidding. That's his name, Mark. Ah. ah. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Not a lot. Uh... Not enough. Not enough, According yeah. According to Lily, we've just about hit the last of our food reserves. Some people might have to go without tonight. Oof. You mean Lily's lottery again? Kenny's gonna be pissed. She thinks everyone should have an equal chance of missing a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? Oh, boy. I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. Yeah. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. I mean, if we can get that RV run, oh, he's got a family to look out for. Kenny won't abandon us. He's better off without us. Uh, he's got a wife and son to look out yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Damn, my nose is itchy. problem with you in particular. My nose is very itchy today. Uh, he's looking out for his daughter. He's an old racist asshole. I think 
think so dangerous. He thinks I'm a danger to the group and Clementine. Yeah. I think he's the one putting us in danger. The way Lily worries about his health, I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And yeah. I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. Yeah. Did he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Yep, he did. He did knock me flat. I don't know why, everybody, but my nose is itchy as all hell. So if you see me, you know, doing that and such as, I apologize. Ooh. Okay, make the shot. Don't risk the noise. Uh, yeah, I don't risk. Gunshot will bring walkers. Bird's not worth it. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. Ah! Shit, was that Kenny? No. I don't know. Come on. No, it's not Kenny. That ain't Kenny. Kenny wouldn't scream like that. Hell nah. Uh oh. Something, something's going down. Something's going to happen. Oh boy. Yeah, that's not Kenny's screen. I know, I know how Kenny yells and everything. Oh shit, who are these guys? Two teenage boys and Jesus Christ! Oh shit! A teacher? No, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave. I swear. A teacher. Okay. You guys, okay? Get, get it off! Get it off! God damn it! Get, get it off me! Travis, maybe oh. they can help. These Yikes. might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. Oh. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? I don't uh, know, man. We're not gonna it's hurt okay. you. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to me, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Can't chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Please, yeah. fuck up. You've gotta help. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just yeah, see sure. If can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Uh, was he bitten? We'll try. Not a, pro not a problem. We gotta get him out of there. Yeah, we oh gotta, God, gotta try. You. Gotta try, man. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Oh hurry, boy. Please, hurry. Oh boy. Lee, the trap has been altered. There's no release latch. There's no release release latch. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh boy. We're gonna have to think fast here, man. Now or never, Lee. Please get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Oh boy. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Oh, guess what? Please hurry. There's no choice because he says there's no release latch. Please do something. No, no, no. Try the trap again. Anything, please. No. It's too late. Let's go. Oh. Ooh, close up, I like that. Oh yeah. Looks nice and juicy. Oh well he's fainted. Shit. He cut David free. He passed out. Oh man. Oh. That was something. But he's bleeding now, that's for sure. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Oh shit. You know the act the, the the acting in this is a little bit yeah. He had all the time to run away, but Yeah. Oh oof. The walking dead. <gasps> oh, 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 oh what an introduction that was. God damn. I forgot about that part too. Oh, that was nasty. That was grotesque. Ah. 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 Episode 2. Starved. Starved for help. True, we are starved. And we do need help. Damn.
Ooh, boy. I mean, hell, if we can get that RV going, though, that'd be nice. That'd be awesome. Do I get to control Lily? No, probably not. Shit. Oh shit. What the hell are they doing? What do you mean what the hell are come we on, doing? Come on. We're saving people. What happened? Oh, or at least yeah. trying to. Don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? Can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What do you what mean? What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I thought don't. We, can save the life. we left the other one behind. He would have died if we left him. Idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group right here, right now. No. Well, hang on. We haven't Back even off. talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only yeah. reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Yeah. Come over here and see what I drew. Oh, boy. What? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, oh boy. you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, oh come boy. on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm that not going to be a that, part that of that. That looks like it's true. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you I gotta go with there. Kenny. I gotta he go with Kenny choice. there. End of story. Look, I gotta go with Kenny on that one. That guy up, you can kick Catch out, that's her name. Send them out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect uh, his family. We simply don't have What do you mean? Food. What do you mean make decisions to protect his family? He's actually the only one. Decisions. My uh, girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Like, I mean, come on. Like, you know what? If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. I didn't say that, did I? I didn't say that at all. That's all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. The children. No, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. You only have four food items for ten hungry people? Oh, shit. Well, I gotta do the kids. Alright. I gotta do Clementine, Duck. Oh, boy. You know what? Kenny will appreciate that I thought about the kids first. Okay. I'm gonna I wanna do that. I wanna do the kids first. Well let's see what's happening, doing, huh? Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Yeah, I can. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've gotta take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna give uh some food to Clem because gotta take care of the kids. Here, Clem, you need something to eat. Uh give crackers and cheese, piece of jerky or half an apple. 
Uh, if I remember, Clementine liked the apple. I think Clem liked the apple. I love apples. Yes! <laughs> Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh, yeah. Um... Enjoy it. You deserve it. Yes. And then duck. Hey, duck. How about a little food? Uh, duck likes the crackers Here. and cheese. Yeah. Oh man, I'm so hungry. Yeah. And there are two pieces of food left. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, foof. Ah, uh, ay ay ay. I do mark. Will you hold the damn Ooh. board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. Yeah, we're what going to do mark. A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Jesus, what an asshole. I'm, I'm giving it to Mark. I'm giving it to Mark. Here, eat something. Uh, He likes the jerky, doesn't he? Yeah, he likes the jerky. Thanks, Lee. Need any help Mark. with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. You mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Uh, give back to Mark. Give back to Larry. I mean, hmm. I like Mark. I gave him the food already, though. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna give it to I'm gonna give it to Larry. I'll give it to Larry. Try not to make too much noise. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. Come on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? Yeah, so that, that's not what I meant. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. Yeah, the only that thing is true. I have to do is protect my daughter. Oh, right screw now, off, Larry. Getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. Jesus, I hope he does have another heart attack or something. He's beginning to be such a pain. Such a pain in the ass. There's one piece of food left. Keep the last piece of food for yourself or save the last piece for someone else. Save oh, it for some somebody of these else. People have gone longer than me without food. They're yeah. Alright, uh, so I gave it to Mar, gave it to Clementine, and Duck, uh, talk to, let's talk to you. Sleeping any better, uh, give up food. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. No, it's, it's not. not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well... If you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food, even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you, if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, yeah. Kenny. Yeah. Sleeping any better? any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Want something to eat? Back in a bit. I'll be back in a bit. I don't know why I asked that. I'm sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> Did I ruin a relationship between uh, Carly and I? Oh, boy. You know, let me go talk to Kenny. Let's talk to Kenny. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. I'm not sure that's the best idea. You gave Glenn your blessing when he left. Just asking you respect my choice as well. Yeah, but he was leaving to find his friends. Your family's right here. Well, here isn't doing us any good. Yeah, it's true. It's not doing us. You and Clem. Mm, to stay here? This does sound like a smart idea. Coast does sound like a smart idea. It does. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Coke Kenny leaving the coast was a good idea. And it is. It is a good idea. I mean, you know. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna give you food. I'm gonna be on Kenny's side. Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? 
Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Yeah, there's Thanks. no you pet Kenny. Oh boy. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Not such an easy job, is it? It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. Oh, thank God, Carly. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Uh, hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. There's no food left for today. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! Yeah. What happened to my food? Oh, fuck off, There's Larry. Left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. Uh. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Jeez Louise. Larry is such an ass. Ken, Lee, come here, please. Uh-oh. He didn't make Katja's it, Katja's did he? gonna... He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Oof. Ken, come back. There's nothing... What's his problem? Don't be like that, Lee. I know we've all seen death, but that doesn't make it any easier. Well, I just want to know what his God, problem was. I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Maybe he can sit in. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ugh. Oh, what the frick? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What? what? What's up with my head? Oh, shit. What happened with my head? What happened with my head? Ah. Uh, get away. I need to get away. Get away. Oof. I don't know what happened to my head. My head and everything wasn't visible. Gouge the eyes. Gouge the eyes. There we go. Sheesh. You okay? Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! What do you mean? Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What?! Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Oof. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God... Back off! Whoa. Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. You're outnumbered. Are you armed? We don't want any trouble. Are you armed? Yeah, F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But uh, I think you got the upper hand here. No, that's true. I we do. Gas. Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Ooh. Our generators run on gas. Look, Ooh. we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. We do need food. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. For sure, for so, sure. So, uh, what do y'all think? No deal. We'll just stay here. Okay, I'll we'll go to the dairy. You've got a deal. 
We'll bring he decided some everyone should go. Dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Hell yeah. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. Should be fun. Should be real fun. Good boy. So, this dairy. You guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Sweet. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Yeah, Kenny keeps his motivated. He's a smart leader. Me, a leader? They'd want me for a leader. Sure, everybody looks up to you. I mean, that is. Everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Yeah. Because of your past. Yeah. Does anyone else know? Uh, Larry, Larry knows. knows. Great. That can't be easy. No. Valentine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? You know what happened now. It's not time. It was an accident. Uh. It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. Yeah. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I mean... I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Uh, move around a lot. Grew up in Macon. The motor in is my home now. I move around a lot. Yeah. Hard to call any place home, I guess. I used to move around a bit myself, but the dairy will always be home to me. And you will remember that. Pretty settled in at that motor in. Uh, yeah, I, I don't. I don't trust there. these guys yet. It's Democracy. I am Kenny Lily. Uh. We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. Yeah. I hear that. There's so many dumb hey, John brothers there took note of that other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Oh boy. Okay, change the subject enough to defend ourselves and include the kids. Well, the kid here is our newest arrival, but we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Well, here's to helping yeah. each other out. Well, change the subject to you boy to answer the question. Good. The <laughs> like I said, we have plenty of food and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running a dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Uh-oh. Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always oh, pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who oh, are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry, they and you guys were keeping it There's all for yourself. Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! Oh. Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! Asshole. Jeez, a bit of overkill, eh? Going to shit. Come on. Let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Yeah, we should probably get to the dairy where it's safe. That's uh that's a little much, a little bit of overkill. Yeah. I think it'd be a whole lot safer at the dairy at the for the for the meantime. I still don't trust these two at all, these brothers. I think they're brothers or are they cousins? I don't know. St. John Family Dairy. St. John's Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 bolts through that thing with generators and amps. Oh, wow. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It would kill ya. <laughs> uh, we can't have the kids around the fence. This is a brilliant setup. Ever have any accidents? Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This yeah, place true. is untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. 
I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He moves around a lot, but things the way they are, maybe we can convince him to stick around for a while. Maybe. We had a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Uh, we work together. Lily keeps focused. Kenny's working on getting us somewhere safe. I've got things on control. Uh, we all work together. Yeah, we Plus all work we've together. Got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. What now do you mean? Here, we'll make sure you're what do you mean? It's, it's safe. We're awful hungry. Uh, we brought gasoline. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These yeah. are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Oof. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. Yeah, now, hell yeah. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she? We have a vet. A week oh, ready. no. We can help you Mark. Mark. Watch your oh, open. Oh. oh, my. Our prayers have been answered. Uh, Maybe Mark. our whole group could come for the day. Mark, well, shut up. Y'all uh, meet your veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. Uh, It'd Mark. It'd be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Mark, why don't I head you back and your the big mouth. And round up everyone for the trip over here. Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Uh, frickin... Mark, Lee, uh, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You for sure, for sure. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Uh, let's make sure this the place is safe. We should do whatever we can to help out. Before we can think about bringing our whole group yeah. here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see. And checking the fence perimeter sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Yeah, because of a broken swing. That's why it's dangerous for the kids, it's because of a broken swing. Anywho, we're out of time for this episode. For this let's play really do hope you guys enjoyed this series so far if you guys are enjoying the series make sure to leave a like don't forget to subscribe if you don't have to sub you don't want to sub button is just there for the shits and giggles right beside sub button there's a bell if you touch that red that bend the bell get all notifications of when i go live or when i upload a video as always i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye